watch the uh, Saturday live stream. Uh, what an adventure that was. <laughs> Thank you for those of you who hung in. And I did figure out what was going on, and it's fixed. So um, future live streams are going to be uh, smooth. So uh, with that being said, I want to go ahead and uh, talk about the Sun Sun 302s that have been pre-filtered for a while now. And I want to go ahead and crack open one of the canisters and, uh, and show you the kind of job that the pre-filters are doing and how those pre-filters are making my job a little bit easier when it comes to canister maintenance, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, and I thank you for tuning in. This is the 60-gallon uh, grow-out tank. Sometimes I refer to it as a Juvie Hap Nation, uh, back in the days when um, Evan Alexander was doing Hap Nation. And uh, it has some real plants in it, some old Anubias from a plant project I did way back when. But at any rate, you can see the aquarium's in pretty good shape. And uh, admit, admittedly, it has a lot of filtration on it. And um, two Sun Sun 302Bs are running on it, and you can see them here. And today we're going to be um, we're going to be working on the one here on the right. And the tank also also is filtered by a Marineland dual bio wheel, and you can see that hanging a hang on back there. So it has a lot of water movement, and that's certainly something to consider when you see the uh, condition inside of the canister, because compared to the 100 gallon where the fluval is doing all of the work, on this tank I have, uh, I have three different filters actually carrying the load. So um, when you consider that this is not really that heavily a stock tank, it's not uh, it's not too surprising that the inside of the canisters are in pretty good shape, especially when you consider that these pre-filters are on the intakes. And again, this is another uh, difference from what I have going on with the Fluval pre-filter, which is just on the, on the down tube. Uh, these are actually, these are coarse sponges that are covering the, the uh, intake little grill that came with the Sun Sun. It's just slipped over it like the way you would a sock. And they actually were adapted from a, a Zoomed, a Zoomed, a Zoomed powerhead had these filters on them. I always fill a bucket with tank water uh, before I work on canisters. And that gives me a place to uh, store the bio, the bio media while I'm doing whatever I have to do so that it doesn't go for too long without being wet. So let's crack open the uh, the Sun Sun 302. You can see the uh, the motor unit, the head unit is in really good shape. Not a lot of mulm buildup, not a lot of scum. Water looks pretty good. You know, very often you can open up a canister and it's just disgusting inside. But this one you can see is actually in pretty good shape. Doesn't have a lot of stuff going on. Keep in mind it's been months now since it's been running. And here in the top, keep in mind that water in Sun Sun runs from the bottom up back to the tank. So the last thing it runs over is this media here, this bio media. And that media looks in real good shape. I'm going to put it into the uh, bucket of tank water. And that was uh, Bio Home Ultimate and, and some old plastic balls that have sponges inside of them. I did a, I did a video on that a while back. Here's the middle tray. It has a little bit more mom than the top tray. Not much, and that one has uh, that one has marine pure and also some of those black sponge-filled balls. The bottom tray is usually the dirtiest one in Sun Suns because that's what the water hits first. And uh, when I peel back, when I peel back this pinky filter, this will tell the tale. And as you can see here, this pinky filter, the coarse side is in really good shape. And so what that means is that the water that is getting through there and going over the uh, bio media is actually clean water. And so the bio media has clean water running over it, which is a real good thing. This water is in good shape. You could almost drink it. I'm not going to, but uh, that's a big almost. <laughs> 
at the very bottom of this uh, canister, I do have some rings that are just there to break up the, uh, the water. And uh, that's a, on the advice of the Ponguru. Of course, I'll show you right here so you can see definitively just how clean, how clean the water is in the canister. And keep in mind, this has been running for months. This is going to go on to the plants that I have in my front porch very nutritious water for the plants and you can see it's in very good shape. So what I like about that is that the water running over the biomedia is going to be very very clean. This is the bottom sponge on the bottom tray and this is the one that usually is completely clogged up with gunk. And look at the shape it's in. I have not rinsed this sponge. This is how it came out of the bottom tray. In very very good shape. So it's pretty obvious to me that a lot of the uh, trapping of detritus is occurring with the pre-filter. And it's occurring even more so than with the fluval because the, uh, that fluval canister was, was much dirtier than this Sun Sun. Now granted, the fluval is the sole form of filtration. So I uh, rinsed out the sponges and even the pinky, I didn't have to replace the pinky. There's a mark here on the Sun Sun that tells me where to line up that down that uh, tube there. So I put my trays back correctly and uh, I rinsed the uh, bio media in tank water just by moving the trays up and down a little bit in tank water just to get some of the loose stuff off of it. You can see it looks pretty good. That's some of that marine pure, very high quality stuff. And again, some of those sponge filled black balls. When you put trays back into a sun sun, you have to make sure that they're really, really well positioned and really seated correctly. If they're not, your uh, canister is not going to function right. Water's going to get through the edges and it's also going to be making noise. Here's some old Biohome Ultimate. This Biohome Ultimate is rock solid. It's been running in here for about four years. Still uh, in very, very good shape. So again, make sure your trays are seated as, uh, uh, and tucked down as, as tight and as good as possible. And I give everything uh, one last little push here just to make sure everything is correct. And then I go ahead and fill it with tank water pushing down and making sure everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. When you fill it with tank water, you can fire them up and very often you don't have to use that blue button. It'll just go ahead and start running. And these Sun Sun 302s have been running for about four years, 24 seven. And they're still pulling very, very well and doing a great job. So probably what uh, it the biggest difference is here is that these uh, this motor unit it's not pulling as hard anywhere near as hard as the fluval so it's probably allowing a lot of the detritus to just sit on that outside sponge I tuck everything in and push it down and the outside the outside snap should pretty much just go down and snap by themselves and the other two snaps are almost an afterthought if everything is seated correctly. If you have trouble closing it, something isn't, isn't right. You really got to double check it. So we're ready to um, go ahead and refill the tank. I, re I refill directly from the faucet using a, uh, a hose system and the tank has been treated with Prime. The unit is now running strong and quiet and uh, this step is over and as you can see the tank looks great and the fish are looking wonderful and uh, and ultimately that is that is the uh, the final judge or test of whether or not what you're doing is working how do the fish look are they thriving are they active are they colorful are they interacting with you are they eating well are they interacting with each other and if all, if, if it's a yes to all of those, uh, whatever it is you're doing is working and uh, you should continue. So there you have it. 
I think I can go uh, probably probably six months, uh, maybe more, between servicing those canisters because, uh, as you can tell by looking at them, they're pretty in pretty good shape inside, and I think I think uh, even as much as nine months because there's really hardly any buildup at all. So it looks like the pre-filters are doing the uh, the heavy lifting on those canisters and uh, and are going to allow me to expand the time between uh, servicing them, which is really my biggest complaint with canisters. I do like them a lot, they're quiet. I, I have found them to be um, effective at keeping tanks uh, clean and uh, healthy. However, um, doing maintenance on them is, uh, is a chore. So anything that uh, you can do, in my, in my estimation, anything that you can do that will spread out the time on, on having to maintain those canisters, the better. So um, that's, my, uh, that's my take on it. Certainly uh, post your comments below, your thoughts, if you're using pre-filters on Sun Suns, and um, let me know what you think. And uh, certainly hit that bell and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I do appreciate you. Thank you so much.